Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this cool fire effect and as a bonus, I'm going to be showing you how you can lay a video over the top of other video to take this effect to the next level. So let's jump into it. As always, the first thing we'll do is choose a blank presentation, right click, layout, blank. Now let's create the fire text. We'll go to text box, click anywhere, type fire. I'm going to set this to pop-ins, extra bold. These work better with really bold fonts. I'm going to make it 300 point size and align it to the middle. And to be able to either add video or imagery inside text in PowerPoint, the first thing we'll need to do is turn it into a shape. And to do that, we're going to draw a rectangle that's full screen. So I'm just going to drag this out to the full screen. Send it to the back. We will select the text first and then we'll shift select the background. And now we can go to shape format, choose merge shapes and the second one down says combine. So now we have the text cut out of this shape and we can put anything in the background of it. Now let's add the fire video. And to do this, you can either drag the file in or go to insert video, this device. And I'll click on this fire video that I've just downloaded. And the link is in the description if you'd like to use the same video. Now we can align this to the top left. We'll grab the corner handle and pull it down to the bottom right. And now right click and send to back. Then we'll click on animations, go to the animation pane. We can delete this pause and we'll make sure that the play is with previous. That means as soon as we play the slide, the fire will start. Great. There's our fire effect of video playing back inside text. And you can put any video clip in here and use any text you like. And you might see that if you move the mouse while you're playing this slide, you'll get the video bar at the bottom showing you where it is. And in some cases you want this video bar, but I'm going to show you how you can turn it off because in this case we don't want it. And to do that, we can go to slideshow and under slideshow, there'll be this box here, show media controls. And that will stop the media controls from showing when you're in the slideshow view and you move the mouse. And I would also like the video to loop. So to do that, we'll need to select the video. And at the moment, the video is in the background. So if we go to home, arrange, selection pane, you can see that the video is in the background. And if I click on it, we can change the settings. So I need to go to playback and we can choose loop until stopped, which will loop the video. So now the video will loop. And when I move the mouse, we don't get the media controls. Great. Now as a bonus, I'm going to show you how you can lay a video on the top of other video files. So now we've got the video selected, I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate it. I'm going to align it to the same place exactly. And then I just want to show you how a shape works with transparency. So if I just put any shape on here and go to Format Shape, whenever you go to the Fill settings, you can adjust the transparency of any color. And this is great, but with video, you don't get that option. So if I click on the video, the only options you get are to recolor or adjust the brightness or contrast or crop the video. But we want to make it transparent so you can add a layer of video over the top of our fire effect. So to do this, we go to animations, add animation, and there's the option transparency. And now when we go to the animation pane, you'll see this is the transparency effect. If we click on this and choose with previous because we want it to happen all at the same time, then the layer of video will be over the top and it will be semi transparent. And to adjust that transparency, we just have to double click here. And you'll see it says 50%. I want to make it 75, but you can change it to anything you think looks good. And now we'll click OK. Now, when we play back, we'll have the fire effect inside the text and looping, but it will also be laid over the top, which I think gives a really great effect. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.